Good morning. This is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and this will be another TradeStation platform tutorial. Today we will be covering how to link your different windows together, how to format and change the font style or size of your different windows, and also how to bring up the stock option within the market depth window. So if you're interested in platform tutorials, live trading videos, or just general stock market educational content, be sure to click the subscribe button below for more content. So let me just quickly go over how to add your different windows. So you can come over here to trading apps. And this is where you can add your different windows. So chart analysis will allow you to add your stock chart. Market depth will give you your level two. And then if you come up to trade manager, this is going to be your trade manager window where you can view your orders, positions, balances, messages, etc. So that is how you add each window. So just to show you once more, let me just click on one. So let's say we want to add a stock chart. And here is our stock chart. So that is how you can add different windows to your platform. So now that you have these different windows, let's go over how to link them. So you can see here we have an S and an I. The S stands for symbol and the I stands for interval. So let's say we want to connect our market depth or level two to our stock chart. So you can see here I have, I've selected blue, then I'll select blue again here. So now if I click on the chart and type in a ticker symbol, for example, let's type in Facebook, you can see that now my stock chart and my market depth is now showing the information for Facebook. Now let's try Netflix. All right, my chart and market depth is now showing the information for Netflix. So that is how you can link your different windows. Now, when it comes to the market depth, you can also add an order entry form and let me show you how to do so. So you can right click and select view trade bar and this will allow you to view your trade bar and then you can place a trade right from the market depth window which to me is pretty convenient and that is how I actually place my trades whenever I am day trading. So again just right click and then you can select view trade bar. Also one of the problems that I actually encountered so whenever I trade from my Surface Pro 4 the Surface Pro 4 is a laptop and a tablet so it's a combination machine. One of the problems that I encountered was whenever I would add a new market depth window the font would be too small so let me show you how to correct that issue if you happen to have a combination machine. So let's go to market depth and actually it's not going to show the font it's not going to show the font in a small value because I've actually already gone in and changed the default so let me show you how to do that so you can right click and then select format window and from here you can change the font style and the color as well as the size. So you can go to any window and select format window and then you're able to customize the font style and size. Let's say I want to make the font size 18. Now you can see the font size is very very large. Okay, so that is how you can go in and change the font size if it is too small for you. You can also change the font size of your chart analysis window as well. So you can simply right click on the chart and then you can scroll down to format window. And again, you can change the font 
style as well as the font size to your liking. So you can customize that however you wish. Next up, if you're interested in trading stock options, I'd like to show you how to display the stock options market depth. So you can see here I have the market depth for the stock. For example, we're looking at Netflix here, and then I have the stock chart for Netflix. And then here in the middle, I have the market depth for the stock options. So let me show you how to bring up the market depth for your stock option. So what you want to do is you want to select options. And for example, let's say we're interested in trading Netflix. You can type in Netflix. And then you want to select this magnifying glass. So the next window will pop up and then you'll see underlying root. This is where you want to type in Netflix again. You can press enter. And this is where you can select the option that you're interested in. So let's say we're interested in the 192.50 strike price and let's say we want to purchase calls. So you'll just select that and then click OK. Next you'll want to copy so you'll select Control C from your keypad and then you want to activate your options market depth window. Next you want to select Control V for paste it will paste this information here and then you can select enter. So now we are viewing the Netflix 192.50 call for the expiration. You can see the expiration date here as well. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can see everything here. Okay, so you can see we have our symbol here. We're currently looking at the 192.50 call for Netflix. You can also see it up top here. And then again, we have our order entry bar right here. So you can then select the price that you'd like to purchase at, and then you can select buy to open. And then that is how you can execute the trade. I'll actually make another video on how to execute your trade because TradeStation does offer some specialty orders, which I use and I've found them to be very helpful. So they offer several different conditional orders where you can place market orders based on the actual underlying instead of the stock option price. So I'll go over that in the next video lesson. But that is how you can bring up the stock option pricing on the market depth window. Now you can also change the stock option from the market depth window. And let me show you how to do that. You can right click, right click anywhere within the market depth window, and then you can select format Netflix because that is what we're currently looking at. Format Netflix, we're looking at the 192.50 call. And then there's a drop down here. So this will allow you to bring up the different strike prices and symbols for the stock options that you have traded previously. You can select from this window as well. So let's say we want to view SPY. I was looking at SPY the other day. We want to view the 267 strike price. We're going to be viewing the call. You can select OK. So now you can see it has brought up the SPY stock option, the $267 strike price, and we're currently looking at the call option. So let me show you one final way that you can change the stock option that you're viewing. So again, you can right click within the market depth window, and then you can select format. In this case, we're looking at SPY, the $269 call. So you'll select format SPY and then you can click on look up. Next, you'll want to select the options tab and now you can see that this window looks just like the other window whenever we went up here to change the stock option. So now again, we're seeing that it says underlying root. So now let's say we want to view, uh, let's just say Netflix, type in the ticker symbol. Let's say we want to view the 192.50 put, for example, you can select that and then click OK. 
and then select OK again. And then look at that. We now have the Netflix 192.50 put. It has now been populated here within the market depth window. So those are the different ways that you can change to different stock options. You can do so from this area of the platform or you can right click within the market depth window and select format and then you can change it to another stock option. So that is all that I have for you today. If you have any other questions or comments about the TradeStation platform, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.